so we have our first images up close images of Saturn and they are fucking spectacular there's some interesting shit going on on that fucking planet I'll tell you what man no doubt about it so let's take a look at some of these these images that were uh, sent back to us so we just run through it real quick this is how everyone else is seeing it of course, this is way, way too fast for us, so we gotta slow this bitch down. We get, we need to fucking zoom in and slow down and fucking investigate this bitch. Now check this out. What the fuck is that? I see that right there. Then I see that little fucking guy. And I tell you one thing. I don't fucking trust it. That's what I know. Look at these. Look at these. Look like what? Like hills? Or what the fuck is that green box doing there? Oh, you brought some homies with you, you fucking pixel motherfuckers. Why are those green pixels there? What the fuck is that from? I don't know, but it's interesting. This planet's got some crazy shit going on everywhere around it. I mean, cool things happen with Saturn. Like, you, you know, like, like the hexagon. So, for those of you who don't know, there is a giant hexagon on the North Pole of Saturn. Which is incredible. I mean, just one edge of the hexagon is a thousand miles longer than the circumference of Earth. Uh, it's a high-res picture of it. Isn't that cool looking? And they don't have to be aliens to make it, you guys. All right? Just, just so we get this clear. All right? This pattern can be found in nature all over the place. Like honeycombs are our hexagon pattern uh even soap bubbles when you look down close at them are honeycomb patterns of you know bugs wings and stuff uh basalt logs uh lava tubes and stuff they come out they form in a hexagonal pattern and uh you, you can find this all over all over earth so it, it you know works in a bunch of different materials uh it's a shape that the you know nature has no problem concocting it has no problem making a hexagon pattern it might look really cool but it's something that's easy to make and it's explained through uh fluid dynamics that's why the hexagon pattern is on saturn is because of fluid dynamics however it makes me wonder doesn't that mean it has to be fluid <laughs> so what kind of fluid is up there on saturn spinning around like that so like when you spin um a fluid uh, faster in the center than you do on the outside it will it eventually makes a hexagonal pattern as long as the um you have different like altitudes and uh depth so if the spinning core is further down then the spinning edge outside is further up that will cause a hexagonal pattern saturn also has one of the coolest aurora borealises ever i mean they, they have huge their the auroras on saturn are like five times the size of earth could you imagine seeing something like that how fucking cool would that be all right let's continue on uh, the the pole of saturn i mean that's that's fucking fascinating what the fuck is that in the middle of that black hole is apparently a ufo or it's just some ordinary object i just don't know what it is that's probably more like it <laughs> you got some shit just flying all around here and you know i mean and the the, the gravity of, of saturn is so strong dude. it's just pulling all kinds of shit in. i wonder why it doesn't pull its own rings in though it's weird i mean the planet is massive it's second only to jupiter all these little bits and pieces just flying around shooting around fucking cool yeah you know they launched cassini uh 20 years ago they launched it in like 97 man and they're going to end cassini's life on september 15th 2017 that's gonna be fucking sick what the fuck is that oh you've joined together and you brought your little friend with you you <laughs> son of a bitch There's a, you know, I mean, I really like these these images. I think that's really cool, man. I can't wait to see what it looks like because they're going to get even closer. I mean, they went from like like 40,000 feet to like 4,000 feet above it. Now, this is the last frame of all, of all these pictures. This is the last frame. What the fuck is that? What are we looking at? Is that part of the planet? 
I mean, that's fucking cool. I don't know what the hell it is, man, but there's some shit going on there, dude. Looks like two membranes with a time tunnel in between them. Yep, that's what I'm calling it. Sure. Probably is some kind of a Stargate. Or it's the shadow from the rings uh, on the planet. I'm going to go with Stargate. All right, UFO proof out.